Welcome back to Ship Happens, our journey on restoring a massive 72 foot wooden boat. Uh, so this week we are, I'm going to go back in the villages as usual. I sent Simon off the other day to make a floor for the end of the engine bearers. We're lacking a floor. So here's what he got up to at the workshop. Okay, so we've got our template, so we've got our material, we'll cut it to length, I've already put some marks where I want to drill on the template, so we'll drill them all individually, then we'll weld it up. today get that fitted in <laughs> move all the ballast that's down there again because I want to give the bilge a couple more coats of paint and then that front area is done so now Gemma's finished the cleaning we can now see if the floor fits if the floor fits sounds like a saying doesn't it does the floor fit floor fit there you go glamorous assistant Like a glove. It goes down the engine bearers, all the way down, past the web frame, to the keelson, to the other web frame, up here, up past the engine bearers. So it's a bonus. Basically, just got like a big sheet of card, put it on the face, drew around it, and then you saw the card that I used in the workshop, we didn't need to actually make it, but quite interestingly, I noticed it's quite odd, odd shape wasn't quite symmetrical you know, if we built it like from new it would have been symmetrical but I don't know if the engine bearers are offset on purpose or when they put them into the hull um, but I noticed the measurement from there to there and the measurement from there to there which are actually original pieces of wood I think there's about 40 mil difference so I'm not sure if it was a design of the boat or whether they just made them to fit because everything else is a bit skew with I don't know what do you think? We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> so our boat is not symmetrical, is what you're saying. At no. this point. At this point. Oh well, neither are, neither are faces. You know, your faces aren't symmetrical. So... <laughs> There's a anyway, crap, right. crap tip of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do now is... I look at the area, give it a prep, give it a grind, take all the paint off, and then we're going to glue go with this in as well as screwing it so oh yeah oh no yeah Here's one I prepared earlier. Oh yeah. Hinds in hindsight, hindsight we should use black really. We've got black as well. 
Oh yeah. I think I'll picture a little boat on it, look. Well kind of boat like, but what one's got? It's got fluffy white things on it. Come in, huh? So as you can see on the floor as well, I'll put my little hooky bit on so we can tie ballast down to it basically and a bit integral then to the structure of the boat then, isn't it? Right, am I going to get covered in this? Make sure you're putting it in the right way. Yeah, it is. Let's try and not get messy. You can tell it's hot today. What? You've got your air conditioned pants on. Yeah. Never got another couple of years out of these yet, though. Yeah. <laughs> the worst one, the, the pocket's got a hole in it here and stuff falls out. Oh. Poor me. <laughs> So what we've got to do now is go outside, uh, one of us outside, one of us inside and do the big bolts that go all the way through the floors, the engine bearers, the pieces of wood, the frames, the stringers and the hull. So we need to move all this ballast but we need to find somewhere to put it. So I've said we've got a pile of just crap wood here. So we're going to get rid of this because on the port side we've only got three web frames to do this side until we're done. But all this wood's going to be in our way for when we're doing them. So we're going to spend a minute moving the wood, getting that out of the way. Then we can take the ballast from down there, put it there for now. Once the bilges are all painted and clean we can move the ballast back, put the floor down. Never have to lift it up again for a little bit. Uh, and then it gives us access to the next jobs really, so we're going to do that. So, change of plan. Remember that old tar where I found the holes and I could put my fingers in it? I thought while I'm down here, before I paint all the bilge and make it all nice and pretty, I may as well just sort that tar out. Um, and then it's done then, isn't it? So I've not put them, getting my paintbrush today. Um, I'm just getting mingling in the bilge as usual. So I'm just chipping away at it. Uh, done that section already. Uh, and now I'm just getting it all out of here. So all the tar is chipped out, um, I'd like to get some new tar in it tonight but obviously it's very, it's a bit wet down there at the minute. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it with sawdust and dry it out and while it's drying we can get the ballast moved. Here we go, here's some nice oak shavings.
Time to tidy up the sawdust. Right, we're gonna go melt some tar. Yeah, of right, because we're doing some tar pouring, better put my wig up, hadn't I? Mm. Um, do you wanna? <laughs> Couldn't find the cable tie, so we've got a Velcro strap this it's time. Not long enough. That's what she said. Mm. Tighter. I'll right, give you a wobble. Sweet. Perfect. What could possibly go wrong? Let's see. Do you know if, you, you you know if this tar pouring <laughs> goes wrong, I'll end up looking like you? Yeah. <laughs> How would you tell us apart if we were both balls? Two little eggheads. <laughs> Maybe one day the boat will actually cook something proper instead of just tar. What do you reckon? <laughs> Simon said he wanted to have a go doing it this time. It's only like the first coat, so... Well, I'll, we'll let him have a go, eh? Dinner time! Tonight, Matthew. Tonight, Matthew. All right, so I'm basically heating the existing tar, which is down below. There's obviously all the bits in there, and that's sort of like it's re-energizing it. So let's have a look. You can see all the smoking. All right. So I'm just going to do like a. Bit of a primer coat. We're not going for pretty, are we, Jim? Well, not with you doing it. Still waiting for him to buy me a new pan after I'm taking that one off my kitchen, you know. Yeah. Shouldn't use them anyway. <gasps> Gee hee. Right, so Patrick's down in the bilge and he's just going to make sure it's all dry and then we're going to go and pour some more, more tar, aren't we? Yeah. What's the tar for anyway? It's to make the bilge smoother so the water flows easier towards the bilge pumps. Okay. Hot tar. All done? All done. Nice. So it's like 25 past six on a Friday evening. Do usual, are normal girls like painting boat builders at this time on a Friday or is it just me? 
So, before I leave, I want to get the front two sections painted. Can't do this back section of the one under here because I've just poured tar. But I'm going to get the other two done. May as well, while I can. It's hot as well. <laughs> Oh yeah, Simon doesn't know I'm doing this. <laughs> He's off doing something else. You're not painting your boat, are you? Paint your boat time! <laughs> I thought I may as well just make a start. I know it's late, but... When I've finished trying to uh, take credit. I've just painted that one. <laughs> so there we go, painted as much as I can. Uh, obviously where we've still got fresh tar down there, we I will come back and paint next week. Um, but also then we are going to start making some shutter in um, to protect the hull so the ballast doesn't sit against it. So. That will be Simon's job next week, so come back later and see us actually finish the bilge area. Fingers crossed. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please oh, yeah. like and subscribe and yeah. all that crap. And and don't forget, if we get 80,000 subscribers, I'm going for a mud bath. And I want it to be like preferably this time of year, not winter. <laughs> If that's okay. It'll probably be Christmas Eve. Yeah, <laughs> but I'll do it. I, I um. No matter what the weather, I'll Simon is jumping I'll in the mud. It. Like we yeah. haven't decided on the cloven arrangement yet. No, I just go. You get dry quicker, don't you? Nothing on. Ooh. I'm under my well. And we're gonna have to do loads of like sensor and Simon just did it in his wellies. Yeah. <laughs> Better get the blair thing ready, hadn't I? Mm. Thank you so much for watching. Next. See you next week. See you later. Bye bye bye.